Alright, hello guys, we are back in Chrome Endless, not too long after the last episode. Uh, I did go ahead and run over to the flower fields, so that way we could get some sunflowers. And now, we'll go home. And we should be able to make some sunny quartz. Cyan petals. I will take some cyan petals. Unless we already have cyan. We don't already have cyan. This is some great stuff. So much has been accomplished today. Okay. Sparks. So we need petals, rose gold ingots. Molten rose gold comes from melting. How do we get gold and copper? Ingots. Okay, so what do we have? Um, so if we do 18, that should be like, what, s three, six gold that we need? Five, six. It looks like we do also need to work on Possibly expanding our gold a little bit because we're slightly running out, but oh crud. No, turn That was not how that was supposed to happen Let's try that again. Good news is we have an unlimited source of blazing blood so Not too worried about it Okay, we'll go ahead and start casting the rose gold. Can probably cast a block of it as well. But good news is we don't need a crazy ton of it. So we'll stick that in there. Um, do we have a lot of one type of petal? We do indeed. Um, we'll take 32 of these. Just for odds and end crafting recipes. Sparks. Um, yeah, that seems pretty complicated. What do we not have? Oh, we don't have blaze quartz? I thought... Oh yeah, we took the quartz and then immediately stuck it in here. I'm so smart. Okay, let's grab like three of them. We could have just not grabbed three. Okay, so if we stick one on there, right? And then we stick one on there. Can we also say stick one on there? I would like to stick one on top of it. No, this does not seem to be a thing that can be done. Okay. But now, say if we were to grab a... That, that, and that. Oh, we had a lot of mana diamonds. How quickly does this drain mana? Holy crap, that drains some mana. Um... Wow. We're gonna need so much coal. Because this is only a singular piece. So let's get that cooking. Um, we can also come over. Let's grab our wrench, wherever that is. Three hundred and sixty. This sounds like a good number. 
So let's let these little bees work on that. Hopefully this terrestrial agglomeration will work as well. Oh, we already have one. Dancer in the dark. Well, look at us go. This better give us another Terra Steel. Holy crap. Each of these needs three, and we need two of those. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, how's this doing? It was there, and we go there. Doesn't look like it's changed at all. We also don't have nearly enough mana for that. Um, is there a thing for sparks? Um, okay. The ability to harness mana from sparks, but as of now their uses are sparse. Placing a spark over a mana pool and another over a nearby block that it can accept will allow the ladder to blah blah blah. Okay, so essentially this is just gonna generate mana. Got it. We can probably put that away for a little bit, because we're going to need a lot more mana to be able to do what we need to do there. Is this... That is indeed harvestable. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and we'll break in here. And then we can turn that back around. How is this doing on shears? Um, it needs some more. That's the honest answer. So, one, two, three, four. We'll let that keep going. That's a lot of honeycombs. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start working on that one, because that'll take a long while. And there we go. Can we make a hopper? Do we have a hopper? Let's go ahead and let's make a chest. One, two, three, four, five. It just seems like it'll be a good idea to go ahead and make one of those to work on it. Um, let's just go ahead and grab out some more coal. Because this is basically going to be needing to run non-stop for us to get as much stuff as we need. So, this'll, this'll be fun. Okay, hopper. Stick that there. Stick a bunch of honeycombs. And then this should have, yeah, that has plenty of power. This isn't using very much. So. All good there. Okay. And then in between episodes, once, like, once I'm done recording for today, then I'll just sit down and I'll let a lot of XP build up. Just kind of chilling out in here with my infinite food. So, Natura pylons require six each. Oh, that's a lot. How 
how much do we have here? We have 35 levels, so not the greatest, but... So what else is there to work on in between? Yeah, we're not looking at all this, because this looks really complicated. So, big important things that we're gonna need. Now we can probably make this, we just need four mana steel and a mana tablet. Which we have our mana tablet already. And mana steel doesn't cost all that much, so... Go ahead and make one of those puppies. And we get some mana still back out of it. I think this literally just holds more mana. Oh, can we hit control and open it in this book? <gasps> oh, that's so fancy. Four times as much mana. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, let's stick this on in our ring slot. Can we do the same thing with this? That's not the right button. Uses, and then if we just hit control, this should tell us. Oh, that's so amazing. Okay. Mana containing items in its wares inventory. I'm gonna be honest, we're just gonna, we're gonna make this. Feel like it'll be good in the long run oh wait heck yeah man we get it back immediately well then there's no reason not to just upgrade both of these right away as long as we can remember to do that heck yeah so a lot of this actually ends up giving it back to you what you got in the first place I really do like that. Oh, and it can tell us the Thorn Chakram. I have been wondering what this is. It's a thrown weapon, dealing damage with the chance to leave behind poison. Up to six Thorn Chakrams can be stacked together, make them deadly. Okay, and then if we look at this, It does not tell us, which is fine, honestly. Now I'm hitting the wrong buttons again. Okay, we need to keep that down there. We're almost ready for another one, whenever that is. Okay. So... What are some other big important things that we can do while waiting? Because we're kind of now just stuck. We're waiting on Natura Pylons, blah, blah, blah. We can work on some of the runes, but I don't think we're going to really need them at the moment. Not for a little bit at least. And then we really do just have to wait on the Nature Pylons, which requires the Terra Steel, which requires a lot of mana. We can technically make the Thermal Lily now, but it's still really not all that great. The Kinky Murus would be the best, but that requires Pixie Dust and the Rune of Gluttony. This comes in here, I would assume. Yeah, the other runes, that requires Runes of the Seasons. And Pixie Dust is... I don't know exactly where. Oh, up there, Pixie Dust. Okay, so, other important things that we can be working on. Um, the mob farm would be really good to get up and going. We are going to be needing like a mob masher. That requires a whole lot of stuff though. Um, 
what else? Oh, I think we need to make the solar panel controller. We're gonna work on that. So what do we need for that? We need two netherite cores. So if we look at cores, let me type in here, cores, what do we have? So we have two gold, each of the, so the netherite needs four diamond. Basically where I need a lot of this stuff. Right, because it's four per gold, which make it 16 per diamond, which make it 32 per netherite. Two, three. And we've already run out of coal. Okay. Then can we go ahead and make some of these? We're going to need more gold. That's sulfur chunks, that's the gold. We'll just bring it over here and toss it since our crusher, I well actually no, I don't think it's that busy. It's fine. We're also gonna grab the sulfur chunks and go ahead and run through those. Because those will be important. I think we need this basically to get to be able to use these solar panels because I don't think that they're actually contributing anything right now, which is a bit unfortunate, but you know, oops, my mistake. Okay, so stick those in there, stick those in there. Make some more coal. There's like so much that we can just run around and do. Um, in between episodes, I can also try to work on the terrestrial agglomeration, since that seems like it's going to be a big thing for a little bit. How do we make this into normal sulfur? You crush it again for 100%, or you can pulverize it for 100%. Holy cow. Well, we're going to have some sulfur. Um, we also probably need to come over here and clear out this lovely little thing. Stick some more of those in there. How far have we gotten? Not too crazy far, but I guess enough to make it worthwhile. We'll stick that back into the bees. Do we have another terrace still? We do. Fantastic. I mean, Terra Steel. Terra Steel's pretty big. I'm happy with Terra Steel. Has this pooped out some sulfur for us? It has indeed. Okay, so we are up to three. So, technically speaking, we can now make... Elven Gateway? Oh my gosh. How has this gotten more expensive than what I thought it was going to be? So that's fine. So really we need nine pieces of Terra Steel. Holy cow. Probably be a good idea to like shoot down into a barrel or something so that way we don't have to be over there to catch it all the time. I should probably work on that. That's really annoying that it does that. Okay. 
Okay. This stuff is just consuming mana like a madman. That gives us more sulfur dust as well. We're just making mad amounts of sulfur. Um, can we just make a sheet real quick? Okay, so we're gonna need some iron plates. What, like. Uh, okay, there's the eight iron plates that we're gonna need because we need three for the chute. Unless we already have a chute over here. Oh, did I pick that up? Oh, we have so many chutes. Okay, well, we'll just let those be. And then, do we have any barrel of some sort? Can we make a barrel? We can, indeed. So, if we put a barrel there, and a shoot there, we can now just look in that, and it should shoot right down in. That'll be wonderful. See, we just, we are such efficiency today. We have so much doing, so much stuff getting done, that it doesn't even know what it's, what we're, we do. I don't even know what we're doing anymore. That still has a long ways to go on those bees. Okay. But we can technically make these now. Like, these are now a thing that we can do. Which is good. Because we have the Terra Steel for one of them. Okay. Now if we come back over here, we do need more iron. You know what I haven't checked in forever? Our iron farm. I also haven't checked this. We need coal at the moment. Probably not a best idea to use it. Okay. And then, where are our- oh, we have so much iron over here. Okay. And then this should be holding leftover sulfur. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm actually really happy that we did that. Those guys are still idiots, so that's encouraging. You know that we haven't learned anything. What did we just- we saw golden over there, okay. There's so much going on, it's hard to remember. <laughs> That's taken a minute. I'm assuming this stuff is done now. Yeah, we got tons of gold. Gold for days. Okay. So we have three golden cores. Now we have four, which should mean that we can make one diamond core. I don't know what the laser port does. We don't have the mini utilities book, so I couldn't tell you even if I tried. But, you know, we, we did a thing. Crushed iron, crushed iron, crushed iron. And that should be coming through here in a second. Yeah, that's a lot of iron. Good. Because we were running really low on it, so... I will happily take a ton. Now while we can. How's this doing? That's doing good on coal. We do need to drop some more sulfur in here. Uh, 
now we're almost up to a quarter of a mana pool. It's not awful. Not great, but not awful. Okay, so then... Right, four for one. Let's just start making some of it. So there's one. Two. And now we are out of iron. But we have plenty up and cooking. So there's four. We're again out of it. Three. Four. Okay, so then we should be able to make... Four more of those to make one more diamond. So we're almost to a netherite. Which is honestly, that's 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 a lot of progress. I'm happy with that. This episode has kind of just been a lot of like running around managing things, but like we've gotten Terra Steel. That's a big one. And we're definitely working our way up in these with our resource generation. Um, I guess the Quantum Quarry would kind of be next. Although, how do we get Refined Obsidian? That has to come in Mechanism. Mechanism doesn't come until, like... Down here. That's an interesting concept right there. We also need this pedestal stuff, would be... To the PN. Just like the normal quarry upgrade, except you need to connect it to the PN, as it'll consume energy and not require solid fuel to be used. Ah. Huh. Fluid drain, fluid pump, milker, sawmill, energy transfer, item transport, transfer. Can we make this? We can't actually make that. We just need one red, one blue. We should have green dye somewhere. Either that or we can just come cut down some of the cactuses. It's not the greatest system, but it works. We're gonna smell some cactuses. Oh yeah, and you have to turn the cactus paste into the green dye. I completely forgot about that one. We're gonna try and make this pedestal real quick though. No, because we have to make enchanting apparatus. Which comes in here. Oh, I remember these. These had some fun stuff with them, honestly. Arcane stone comes from compressed. Wow. Ender chest. That looks really complicated. And we'll go ahead and we'll put the rest of that in there. And we can now say we have tons and tons of iron. sleep as well and then we're gonna look into the enchantment apparatus just really real quick okay so 
if we look into this, we need arcane stone. Arcane stone. We're gonna need it in here. We press stone. Apparently we just need tons of cobblestone. That's an interesting turn. I really didn't see that one coming. There's that, and then we're also gonna need a diamond for the spirit of two gym. So now we have eight arcane stone. That gives us some source gems. Which we are already almost out of. So obviously we're gonna need to make some more of those. Does this generate source? Or of any kind. I'm gonna assume probably not. Um. Oh, arcane ore. I know that we have some of that. Or source chunks. Would we happen to have any source chunks? Appetite, diamond, dimensional. No, we do not. Okay. Well, although sad, not the end of the world. Lift, press, source jar, enchanting apparatus. Generating some mana. Volcanic, burnable items, the agronomic generates source from nearby crops and tree growth. Bonus mana is generated for magic plants such as mage bloom, source berries, and archwood. Source will be output from the source link to nearby mycelial, vitalic, life draining. Okay, now chemical. This is obviously the easiest. And it just requires a hay bale. We can definitely craft a hay bale. I like, we definitely cannot craft a hay bale until we harvest some wheat. So let's do that. We now have a hay bale. And put that away. Force. Can we make one of these? We're gonna need two more source gems. And then once we make this, we will end off the episode and then we can set some stuff up later. A wilden horn. You can already tell this is gonna be great. <laughs> 